alive. There we go. Our, our white balance is a little off there. Got some sunshine in here. It's the early afternoon, evening. Yeah, let's get a little... There we go. Hey, everybody. It's Review We Make Review Face with uh, our friend Bowie. Say hi, Bowie. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Say hello. He's busy chewing on his bone right now. But what we are here today for is uh, we're going to let Bowie do a bit of reviews, and he is going to show you his favorite toys. Now, the easiest way to do this is we're just going to put down his entire collection of toys, let him pull out what he wants to show you, and, uh, and then we'll go through where we got it, how much it costs, how it's lasted, all that kind of good stuff. We're going to start off, first of all, with uh, what he's working on right now. As you can see, he's quite a fan. This is a patent pending marrow bone. Now this bone has a little streak of marrow right down the middle and some holes in the end so that he can smell that marrow and as you can see he really enjoys it. It's good for his teeth, really gets a good chomp in on those so he's having a good time chewing on that marrow bone, aren't you? I think you just realized he's live on YouTube. All right, so Bowie, we're gonna put this away for a minute. Yes, we are. And we're going to get the giant collection of toys. Are you ready, Bo? There is the giant collection of toys. As you can see, he's quite happy to have all of these here. So, Bowie, we're going to let you dig into your toy box and, uh, and pick which toy you'd like to start with. What do you think? Here, get in there and pick something. What do you want? What do you want to play with? Now he's being camera shy. What do you want? Oh, you want you want this? Okay, now this is interesting. This is a bison tendon that we got from a local pet store. Uh, it's about five bucks, which you think is pretty expensive for a piece of tendon, but you can see the way he's staring at it. He loves it, but he's also terrified of it because as he chews on it, it gets nice and soft, so it's not so hard on his teeth. But as he stops chewing on it, it gets hard again, in which case it kind of pokes him in the nose. And as you can see, he gets a little bit worked up, thinking that it's trying to attack him. What do you think, Bo? So I don't think this is the one that we're going to go with right now. Because, yeah, I mean, it's five bucks, and he's chewed on it for a good couple of hours and barely made a dent in it. So this one's going to last pretty well. Uh, again, most of the, like, natural-type pet food stores are going to have something like this. So, uh, you know, not a bad bet once he gets over the fact that he thinks it's trying to attack him. There we go. See, there's a good chew. Right, is that a good chew? I think he likes it. He is a big chewer though. He loves things he can chew on. All right, Bowie, we're gonna put this away for right now. He's like, what? No way. Dig back into the pile of toys. Let's pick something else to review. What do you want? Here, take a pick. What do you want out of here? He's not used to this. What do you want? Do you want any of these toys? What do you want? We're deciding. Oh, so many choices. Okay, how about... Come on, take a pick. We'll do, here, we'll do the dump here and see what you go after. And, okay, he's going after the bed, which <laughs> he does enjoy playing with this bed. He digs it up. This is one actually we got at... Uh, Winners, I believe. It's just a, pet, a regular pet bed. I think it was 20 bucks. Nice, soft inside. Highly washable, which is always great with a pet bed. And as you can see, he loves to dig in it. Uh, this is, again, one of his favorite toys for some reason, because he's crazy. Okay, Bowie. But we're talking about toys today. Well, look at all these toys. What do you want to play with? What's up? He's never shy like this with his toys. Usually we put the top pile of toys on the floor and he dives right in. All right, we're sniffing, we're sniffing. Oh, this one? Okay, this, now I've got links for some of these toys. The ones that I've been able to find on Amazon are in the description down below. So if you wanna take a look at these. This one uh, we got from Canadian Tire, I believe it's a Hertz uh, rope dog toy. Uh, as you can see, it's got, uh, oh, he loves to pull, play tug with this one. Um, it's a nice durable material. I am seeing some comments flashing momentarily on the side of the screen and then disappearing. So if you're making comments, I'm sorry if I'm not responding to them. I promise I will respond afterwards. Uh, so yeah, he's you know, one of his favorite tug toys right here. 
It's got a good rope base and that rope goes all the way through to about here. It's got a squeaky in it. Really good durable toy, about eight bucks. He quite enjoys that one. Now, from there, let's go to, Bowie, let's go to one of your favorite toys that I'm not a fan of. And that's this one right here. Now this toy is two days old. That's right, two days old. And as you can see, here, let's get a zoom in there, Bowie. There we go. Let's get zoomed right in on that. As you can see, he's already shredded this thing. Now this is from the Kong Company, which I thought was gonna be a lot better quality, but unfortunately it's not. He has absolutely shredded this. This is supposed to be for medium to hardcore chewers. As you can see, this little puppy has already destroyed this toy. This thing was about six bucks. Uh, it's just got a fur tail and then the squeaky inside kind of wrapped in this fuzzy material. He likes it, but he's destroying it, and I don't give it another week. So I would say the uh, the Kong toy, and this one is in the description down below. This one, to me, is a don't buy as a pet owner, because it's not going to last a week. He's already shredded it pretty well. All right, that's that one. What else have we got here, Bowie? All right, we've got the sumo ring. Now, this sumo ring here you think would be great for a teething puppy. He can't stand it. As you can see, like, he just walked away from it. He does not care about this thing. Hey, what do you think? Yeah, couldn't care less. So we'll abandon that one. We've got uh, these, I don't know, they're called like an ethical long fur. I don't know why, I mean, I'm pretty sure all of these things, none of these were actually killed. Um, so this is his long fox. Really enjoys his long fox, but apparently we're going to the hedgehog. This hedgehog a bad, very bad connection, so I'm apologizing if this is kind of flickering. I'm not sure why it's a bad connection. I'm right next to the router. Uh, but he does love this hedgehog. Nice big squeaker in it. Um, this right here. Now this is funny. This is his most expensive toy. As you can see, he loves this thing. This is a snuggle puppy. Now the point of this thing is, you can see this pocket on the bottom. You fill that with a heating pad and this little like beating heart thing. And it's supposed to simulate having some of his litter mates in his kennel with him. First couple of days, he was great with that. He cuddled up with it. After that, we, uh, well, here, we'll give you the, no, okay, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna view, view that. That's, no, he does, um, he does try to dominate this toy. Let go of it. No, stop. Okay, like, you're supposed to chew it if you want to, but really, I mean, this is your cuddle friend. This is who kept you company in the kennel when you were a little baby, fresh, in from having all your litter mates around. You know, this is supposed to be the puppy that helps you. Okay, no, boy, no, no. We're just gonna take that away because you're, you're doing horrible things to that little puppy. Yeah, say hello to the camera. There we go. Uh, what else do we got here? Wow, well, here's a, a show for the audience. Uh, what else have we got here? We have his, uh, his goose. I'm sure you've seen the videos of these geese where you press down on like a whole bundle of them and they make that horrible noise. Uh, he likes it, construction's not great, he's already ripped a leg off of this one. Um, but otherwise, holding up pretty well. And uh, here, boy, let's, uh, let's end this off with your favoriteest toy. I don't know how many of you, how old a lot of you folks are, how many of you remember Lamb Chop? Um, Lamb Chop here has been beat up pretty well, but this is one of the first toys that he got and considering how much he has chewed on this thing, shaken it, beaten it up, it's lasted really well. Um, so this one, to me, this one I got, I think it's, you can actually get these on Amazon as well for about $4, which is surprising, um, because pet toys are so expensive. He loves it, it lasts forever. This one, from an owner's point of view, I would highly recommend. And obviously Bowie likes it too. So there you have it, that is, uh, that's toys in a nutshell. He's got a ton of toys here, and he, I'm sure he'll have a ton more as we go. So maybe we'll have some more reviews to do in the future. Trying to find a good angle that doesn't make me look like I am Casper the Glow-in-the-Dark Ghost. So uh, that's it. So that it's, uh, that's Bowie's reviews in a nutshell. So you can see, that's the one he went to in the end, is his Lammy. But uh, hey, we're not trying to sell you pet toys. We're just telling you our review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming in on the live stream. Sorry I couldn't answer any questions. Hopefully the next time we do one of these live streams, I'll actually be able to see and answer any questions you may have. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button, and we will see you next review. Say goodbye, Bowie. 
Uh, good night, folks.